hello and welcome to forex success guys listen right here in this video please pay attention i want to show you how you can actually catch spike using your support and resistance level we don't have any indicator right here on this screen but i'm going to cast spike on certain assets for you to see and then you know that support and resistance level actually affect the spike it's not always affect the spike yeah it does but if it doesn't spike all you do is to stop loss yeah you close the trade you go have this trade instead of continue to wait for it to stop okay let's check out crash 1000 all you need to do is to go to your five minute time frame and look for a price uh a place where there was a rejection of the price this is a resistant level at this point this is a resistant level this is a resistant level as well so we are expecting the price we're expecting this point this point and this point to push this market back to the downside serving as a resistant level resisting this market from going to the upside yeah okay that's not all you need to do you go to your 15 minute time frame as well and also we can see this same resistant level at this point and also this point so if this market is to, uh, if this market crosses this place without spiking if a candle closes above this point without giving us a spike then we'll stop loss this is how to do it so what would i do now i'll place a, a cell for crash 1000 index good i just placed the cell for crash 1000 index now so the next thing i will do guys please pay attention subscribe to this channel and hit that red subscribe button yeah sorry turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when i drop a new video give this video a thumbs up please and good, drop good comments yeah comments keep on comment keep on the good works forex success yeah that would make me happy release so what we need to do again after i place the set you can see i place the set at this point so i'm expecting this market to give us a spike there is no indicator on my chart five minute time frame this is what i'm expecting to hold the market this point where it is currently now and then this up to this level but if i go to my 15 minute time frame this is where i'm looking at to hold it so definitely if a candle close if a candle closes above this 8187 level then i'll stop loss start taking guys okay what i'll do now i'll take a line and put in that point the 8188 level so i placed the line there if the market move above that point without giving us a spike it's then i'll close the trade guys please just stay tuned because i really want us to watch this whole stuff live let me look for another asset that can also check for spike this is um boom 1000 index as so you can see there is no support or resistance level around so all you do you ignore go to crap boom 1000 good sorry boom 500 index can see we have a lot of them seeing this guys seeing this from the 15 minute time frame yeah from the 15 minute time frame the expected point for us to get a spike for boom 1000 is at this point at this level to this level so getting into the market at this point would be too early of course it will be too early so we'll wait for the market to get down to this point then we'll place a sell you can see it started another candle we'll place a buy sorry at this level then we'll expect it to spike here and then expect it to spike right here again if it doesn't we we'll take we we'll stop loss good okay check out um crash 500 in this Cost 500 in this let's go cost 500 it just spiked because 500 just spiked look at it this is what i'm trying to show you because 500 just spiked you see what i'm trying to show you guys 
this is a resistant level you can see how it affected this market it couldn't close above it it has to spike the, the resistance level it pushes the market back and also the support level it also pushes the market back so since a support and resistance level helps to make the market get a pullback it's not always but it does so we take advantage of those pullback as our spike yeah so right now the only um the only good entry we have is the crash 1000 index which we'll just have to wait a little bit longer because we'll just have to wait a little bit longer for it to spike but without wasting time of um without wasting much of your time Please mark this out. This is 8188 as a stop loss. So if it doesn't spike before it get there, if it doesn't spike after a candle closes above the 8188 level, we're gonna close the trade on loss. So stay tuned. Guys, watch out. You can see um we got the spike that we're waiting for on the crash 1000 in this exactly. So look at it, you can see this. This is what I'm saying. I said, if a candle closes above this 81.88 line, then we'll stop loss. But look, the candle didn't close above it. It pushed down. So this is how support and resistance level affect the spike. Look at it. It made a pullback back to the downside and we're on profit. This is These are some key notes you guys need to understand. Look at it no candle closed above it and it spiked down you can go back go back and check the time um the level the price it was 81.8188.02 and that's what it is now the candle didn't close above it then it spiked this is it so guys make sure you hit that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up turn on the notification bell so you get notified when i um, drop a new video guys you can start using this to trade this opportunity you start using this idea spot out for support levels look at it if you were here you can see support and resistance level um support is a is a is a level where price was rejected that's what support and resistance is a support level is a price a price uh, is a is a level where a bullish sorry a support level is a level where a bearish movement of the market was rejected like this point the market was coming down look that's a, a bearish um, movement it was coming down and then it rejected this is a support level this point this is a resistant level because it was coming up then it rejected you can see guys these are points you need to note okay look at this this is a resistant level the market was coming down and then this resistant level it pushed this market back this is a spike you can catch here and again this is a, a resistant level the market was moving to the upside and then this level pushed it down this is a, an opportunity for you to catch a spike and we did one live again this is a, a, a resistant level and the market was moving up and then we placed a trade here and then it spiked to the downside this is it guys we can use this to make money to the glory of god of course you can do this that's what i always say look at it it always it works most times guys look at it again it was moving to the upside this is a, a resistant level look at it again and it spiked it pushed it down always expect the market to push down on a resistant level as it except it closes above that level this is a resistant level look at it a spike a resistant level a spike guys guys start using this way to make money for yourself forex success and please if you are watching this video and you're not giving us a subscribe a like guys then you know you're not doing well because we take our time and give you tips to help you make money in the forex market so do where to trade and to to subscribe to our channel and share the video support us guys of course that's the only way you can help we're not asking you for money or anything forex success we got you the link is at the description below to open an account so you can start trading synthetic indices crash and booms and every indices you want to trade follow our telegram link at for yeah so guys you can see this is the crash 1000 index trade that we took from this position and it's still selling you can see when profit crash 1000 index you can see that guys so like i said 
trading crash and boom with just support and resistance level without any indicators look at it this was our entry look at it remember we use this this level this um resistant level to get our entry and we said that if a candle closes above this um line this line that we marked this 8188 that we're going to close the trade but then continue selling you can see so this is what i want you guys to understand that you can trade also like this of course you can